Hey guys, this is Samad here from DIY King. Well, in today's project video, we are going to build ourselves a servo tester as well as a servo controller that could be a helpful tool for hobbyists out there to, in order to test and control the speed of a servo motor as well as uh, you can also control the speed of a brushless motor. So have a look at how useful this uh, servo tester and servo controller is and how you can build one for yourself. To start with, I've designed the schematic for both servo tester and controller unit which is based on a triple five timer IC. To operate the servo, we need to produce a pulse width modulation signal with a frequency of 50 Hz. As the width of the pulse varies from 1 millisecond up to 2 millisecond, the servo operates from 0 degree up to 180 degree and vice versa. For the tester unit, we have used two different resistors that are connected across pin 2, 6 and 8 of the triple 5 timer IC along with a switch. Now by pressing either the switch, the servo can be operated clockwise and anti-clockwise. On the other hand, the servo controller produces pulses whose width can be controlled by using a potentiometer in between the range of 1 millisecond to 2 millisecond so that we can control the direction and the speed of rotation of servo as well. I've designed the PCBs for both units and to order the PCBs I've visited jlcpcb.com and uploaded the Gerber files for my PCBs. Later I go through the options that are given below such as quantity, thickness and a bunch of other details and later I checked out. For the first order we can get as low as $2 for 10 PCBs including the shipment cost. Well, the PCBs arrive within just a week and they are one of the finest quality as always. So I gathered all the components and started sorting them onto the PCB. Please make sure you place them correctly before sorting them. Moreover, the schematic, Gerber files and the list of components are available in the description, so be sure you check them out.
Later, I've connected a switch to both the tester and controller unit and glued everything on a plexiglass sheet. Now to power both the circuits, I'm going to use a lithium polymer battery pack. With that being done, we are ready to test our servos and control them as well. So guys, if you like this video and you have learned something new from this project, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Moreover, have a look at some of our other projects too. And for more interesting upcoming projects, do subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the link just given over here. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll be seeing you soon in the next one.